Hey, I'm Heather with Trusty Sail and Paddle at 5300 Highway 70 West in Moorhead City. Uh, this is the Wilderness Systems Radar 115. There's a lot to talk about on this boat. So right now I'm going to talk about the boat Bear and then I'll talk about some of the extra accessories, propulsion systems you can add to this boat. Um, as it sits, it is 11 feet, 8 inches, 85 pounds. Um, I have a rigid carry handle. This is a paddle park. You have a little bow storage here that will shut and lock and you've got good access um, to mount. And on the more sophisticated fishing kayaks, what you'll see primarily is more flat mounting surfaces. So this boat in particular has many um, here, and I'll talk about this more moving forward, but this is a spot to mount a motor pod, but if you don't have the motor pod in store, you can use it as storage, um, or you can do your, you can do a battery in there um, and other, you know, there's other installation options. Here, you can add a pedal drive. If you don't add the pedal drive, you have another little storage space. There is 24 inches of gear track either side. This boat, unlike the Recon, has foot pegs. So if you don't want to add a propulsion system, you just intend to paddle it, you're gonna get a lot more out of each paddle strip because you've got a place to you know, engage your core, plug your feet in. These, like every fishing kayak, any time you see a little molded storage pocket like this, it usually fits some standard Plano um, tackle box. So that undoubtedly does, I don't know what. Um, this boat does not come with traction pads as a standard. You add those, they come in varying um, thicknesses and they range in price from about 80 to 115. This is a little storage hatch that's right near the seat. This seat is track mounted. So if you've got, depending on where you position the seat, this storage is <laughs> very at hand. It's one of the nicer features of the boat. And as I've seen people review it, that is a feature that a lot of people like. This is the Air Pro Max seat. Um, if you're gonna be out on the boat all day, it's nice to be able to change your seating position. So you, you know, your, hip, your hips, your body just gets sore in one position. So this is in the high, high spot it can go low and then it can also tilt back like that behind you have another storage with a bungee or a plano box you see here a more flat mounting spaces there's also another little gear track i'd say that's about eight inches back here um, this boat it has the rudder kit installed um, if you had this boat just at, as a base, um, it will not have the rudder. It is recommended um, for this length of boat. To deploy this rudder, it's a little different than on the Recon. It's got a toggle that you pull and it'll launch that way. And then you pull it back to bring it back up. At the stern, there is a big tank well. You can put the black pack 13 by 13, the 16 is not, 13 by 16 is not going to fit in here or, you know, there's always options for coolers or however you want to do that. But this is slightly smaller than the Recon stern storage. You've got a carry handle back here and then this boat, it has the mounting space for a stern mount motor. And now I'm going to cut and talk about some of the propulsion systems that you can add to the boat. So the thing that makes the Wilderness Systems radar uh, so special is the ability to add two different propulsion systems. In this front compartment, you can unlash this container and remove it, and now you have the space to add the Wilderness Systems Helix MD. MD stands for motor pod. This is made in partnership with Torquedo and Confluence. Um, Torquedo has supplied the lithium battery and the motor, and Confluence engineered um, the space for it to slot into 
the radar and this motor pod can also fit into the wilderness systems attack it has one horsepower a top speed of about five knots runtime is dependent on throttle speed so at high speed you have about an hour runtime uh, but at low speed it can run up to eight hours this throttle is gps enabled so it will give you an idea of in in order to reach your destination how, how much battery time you have available to you to do that so one way to think about this motor pod is like an e-bike it's more of a supplemental power and can help you get from a to b you are able to go forward and reverse with this drive and it has a kill switch so if you happen to fall off your boat it's not going to run away from you It, the, I, I think the best method for installation on this would be a through hole installation um, for the power cord that runs to the throttle. Um, depending on if you wanted to add this propulsion system, it would add some complexity as to where this gets mounted, but I would say in here, fed around, and then out here just beyond where the foot peg track is, and you could get a totally clean installation for that. And lastly, we have our old friend, the Wilderness Systems Helix pedal drive. Um, this slots into that center compartment. Uh, there's, some, there, there's some work that has to happen in order to put this drive in. You remove the compartment, but then there's also a bracket that holds this um, drive system. So this one functions exactly the same as the, the Recon pedal drive. It, it is essentially the same as, aside from the, the bracket that has to fit onto this boat. So to deploy the drive, you just push down and then forward and backward. The foot pegs don't encumber the use of this system. You can easily hold position. And then when you need to withdraw, you hit this pedal. It's spring loaded and will slot right into here. Um, the throttle or the um, rudder steering for this boat is slightly different than the Recon. On the Recon, it's a surface mount toggle that sits about right here. On this one, because this boat standard doesn't come with the pedal drive, you get the Wilderness Systems XL rudder kit. So this is what the Wilderness rudder kit looks like. The steering, instead of a toggle that goes left and right, this one is forward and backward to steer. And it has a tensioner that you can actually hold it in place and you will track in a in a specific direction which is not an available feature on the recon so for a price difference of 450 dollars you get a boat that has more options for propulsion more options for deck customization um, a, a slightly improved uh, rudder steering a much improved seat so it is really 450 dollars well spent and one last thing um, i want to talk about is the Yak Attack Omega Pro, or just this is just the Omega rod holder. Um, it has the ability to rotate on the fly and then keep in position. And then a really quick release to change where you want this. And on this boat, it has this little bit of gear track at the back. So if you want to have a couple of rods that you troll with or you just would to keep them you know at hand at the back it's really easy to pop this on there and you know customize the boat for your preferences for fishing and there you have it we have this color one in stock we have two aquas in stock and the time to buy is now um, people are starting to come in we've sold a lot of recons we have two compatible radar pedal drives. We have two motor pods and that's it. And once they're gone, we can't replenish. So trusty sail and paddle 5300 Highway 70 West in Moorhead City. Uh, come in, we'd love to show you in real life.